Hi, I'm Jamie Bay with the Courier Sports Department. We're here to talk a little bit about high school basketball with my buddy Dave Hyman. Big one this weekend in Ottawa, Dave. Uh, Finley High in Ottawa, it's, it's one I know you've been waiting for a long time, and I imagine a lot of people in Ottawa have been waiting for it too. It was a great game. Um, a lot of people, are, uh, some of the people in Finley are saying, why is Finley a D1 school playing a D3 school like Ottawa? People get caught up with that size thing too much. Um, it's not really the size of the school, it's the caliber of the teams. And it was two good teams going head to head. Uh, the Finley kids had to be thrilled by the fact, I mean, that place was packed to the rafters. Uh, Finley, I heard, got 450 tickets. They sold out all theirs. The rest of it is, uh, you got 2,000 Ottawa fans screaming, going nuts for their team. It was a tournament atmosphere. And anytime you can, your kids can play in that sort of a situation, it's got to be a benefit for your program. Now, what is it? Is it a two-year contract, so uh, Ottawa will make the return trip here next year? Absolutely. Okay, uh, you know, any word on, you know, if it's going to continue after this? I hope it does, because, I mean, Finley's going to go independent anyways because the league is failing. Uh, they're going to need games. Here's a school 20 miles away, straight shot down 224, and, it, and it's good competition. I mean, it's not a... Um, you know, you're not picking up a weak sister team just to get a win. This is a good team, and they're always going to be caliber athletes playing. You know that. that you know that was a great game, but you know, I kind of like to see Finley High play Liberty Benton, somebody like that. This might open that door. Uh, if if uh, Liberty Benton and, and OG are both Division three schools, true. Uh, Liberty Benton is even a shorter trip mm -hmm. for both schools if they want to get in a two-year contract. And you know, Liberty plays good, good, uh, good basketball. So and a lot of people are going to know each other in the stands. So it's it's a great rivalry. You know, it'd be a you know I think it'd be a win win on both sides. You know, some people would say you know Finley lost to Liberty Benton, that would you know kind of take away from their program. But you know, you know Liberty's a great program. You know that'd be a great rivalry. Let's face it, Finley's going to have some holes to fill when once the GBC disintegrates. Absolutely. And uh, you know you could say Finley lost to a D three school. No, you don't look at it that way. You say Finley lost to a really good basketball program. And that's the bottom line. Kids, kids when they're playing, that's why they play AAU ball in the summer. It's why they work their tail off to make the team. They want to play good competition. They don't care if it's Division Four, Division One, NBA. They just want to play good competition. There's a couple other big games on the schedule this week. Uh, start Thursday night. We got some boys action on Thursday. Right. Finley against Lima Senior. Big game. Uh, one thing that I think might be to Finley's advantage, uh, in a sense. The last two teams they played, uh, Sandusky and then Ottawa Glander. Very uh, aggressive, up-tempo teams that get after you on defense, and that's exactly what Lima Senior is going to do. Only Lima Senior is going to do it maybe better than the last two teams have. Mm -hmm. They really pressure you. Another big game on uh, Friday night, uh, definitely going to be worth the price of admission. It'll be Macomb at Pandora Gamboa. Everybody is, uh, is sort of saying Liberty Benton's got a lock on the BVC, but there's a lot of teams still challenging in, in the BVC for this uh, title in this race this year, and and I like Macomb. They keep everybody says they had a weak schedule early. Mm -hmm. Well, thing is, you got to win those games if you want to get to the point where those where those wins matter in the league. And now they really matter. Uh, Aaron Ross done a great job over there. I think he's got a group of kids that are uh, they're good athletes, but they're also ball players. Mm -hmm. I mean, kids that come through in the clutch in a competitive situation. And I think he's got a group on this year that are just getting the job done. You know, both these two teams and Liberty, all three of those teams, they'll have a say on, you know, what happens in the BBC. That's for certain. Absolutely. All right, that'll wrap it up for this week. Uh, we'll see you next week with another edition of The Buzz.